Hey, I'm Josh. I'm going to show you how to set up a Chrome OS device to use for digital signage with Fugo. Chrome devices come in various sizes and form factors, many of which can support more demanding environments and content than your standard plug-and-play device. If you're looking for a business-ready device to build your network with, you'll want to invest a bit more money into your players to get that mix of performance and security that you need to maintain a larger screen network. There are many Chromebox models to choose from, most of which can be configured for top performance. A few we can recommend are the Aopen Chromebox Mini, the Asus Chromebox 4, the Asus Fanless Chromebox, and the Aopen Chromebox Commercial 2. From our testing, we found that the Chromebox CX13 meets our needs for both affordability and playback performance. You can check out some of the specs right here. It's what I'm going to use to walk you through the setup process with Fugo. Before you start setting up your devices with Fugo, you'll need to do two things. Set up your G Suite account and purchase Chrome licenses for your devices. These licenses will allow you to enroll your devices in Chrome Enterprise Management Tools, where you can set Fugo to run in kiosk mode. Why is that important? Well, kiosk mode lets you run Fugo as a single app and lock it down so no one can interfere with it. Also, if there is a power failure or the app crashes for some reason, the device will auto-launch Fugo again. And besides enabling Fugo in kiosk mode, you'll also get features like device monitoring and reporting, remote updates, remote device rebooting, offline notifications, and more through your Google Admin Console. We've got a detailed article that goes into depth about why and how to set up Chrome Enterprise Device Management. I'll drop a link to that in the description below. With your G Suite account set up and Chrome licenses purchased, let's start by setting Fugo as a kiosk app for the devices you want to enroll. Log into your Google Admin Console, open the menu from the top left corner, and select Devices, then Chrome. In the drop-down menu, click on Apps and Extensions, then Kiosks. On the next page, hover over and click the yellow Add by URL icon in the bottom right corner. Then enter the Fugo Player URL shown here into the space provided and click Save. A pop-up window will appear asking you to authorize Google to grant permissions to the Fugo web app. Click Agree. Back on the Kiosks page, click the drop-down button next to Auto Launch App and select the Fugo Player app. This will set Fugo to automatically launch when you start up your device. Click Save. Quick tip, we recommend that you purchase the kiosk and signage upgrade before enrolling your device. Now with Fugo set as a kiosk app for your devices, you can enroll them. Please note that if you have used your Chrome device prior to this setup, you'll need to wipe it. I'll drop the link with that how-to documentation in the video description. Now, turn on your Chrome device and follow the instructions on the screen until you get to the sign-in screen. Don't sign in just yet, but press Ctrl Alt E on your keyboard to go to the enrollment screen. Enter the username and password from your Google Admin welcome letter or a Google account that has eligibility to enroll. Click Enroll Device. When you get a confirmation message that the device is successfully enrolled, click Done. Once this is all done, your Chrome device may reboot and launch Fugo as a kiosk app. You will see the custom pairing pin displayed on the screen. You're going to use it to pair your screen by logging into Fugo from the browser on your computer. Inside Fugo, click Create, then Screen. Alternatively, you can get to the pairing page by clicking Screens in the top navigation bar, then Create Screen. Enter the pairing code. Give your screen a name and add its location if you want to be able to find it in Fugo's Map Viewer. Once it's paired, you'll see it listed on the Screens page of your account. Now you're ready to set any content you'd like to your screen with Fugo. Make sure to check out our help center for more guidance on how to make the most of Fugo. And of course, thank you for watching.